hope everybody is well. Um, we thought we'd uh, go through some of the auction lots today that we got. Yes, and first I just want to thank everyone who um, who kept their fingers crossed for us. We were a little bit nervous at the end of the last video. I sort of felt like I was going to look a bit of a wally. That's a given though, isn't it, in one of these videos? Um, yeah. I always look a wally. <laughs> so where have we been? If you're new to these videos, we've been to an auction. Woo! I know it's not yes. a big deal, but it is for us because we haven't been since last, I think May was our last was auction. Was it really? Yes, a long, oh, long time ago. a long time ago. Now, we went to this auction thinking that it was going to be um, cheap because it's January, everyone's skin in January, but it turns out when we collected it and we spoke to the lovely man there that we're friendly with, apparently this is one of the most expensive months of the year. He didn't mm. know why, but it happens every year. January is always the most expensive month. And I suppose when you think about it, hun, the sourcing's not quite so easy in January, is it? So, um, That's it. you know, he it's... said December is a good month. So we've got to try and remember that. Mm. Um, and in 10, 11 months time, we'll go back and get ourselves a bargain. But anyway, let's <laughs> deal with this lot. This was, um, we bought three lots. And as we mentioned in the last video, one of them was a personal gift to a member of um, family. So we won't yes. show that. No, we won't show that. Um, we don't want them to see it, do we? No. Um, so these two lots that we've lumped together because they're quite small, it's 572, um, which is a pair of candlesticks, African wooden candlesticks and a wooden statue, and lot 632, which is a, it says various pictures. Mm, um, that's, yeah. So we're a bit nervous about that because the, the picture only showed two. So for, for the, those of you that are new to these videos, we're going to flash up a picture of what the back of our Ford Galax looks like. <laughs> Ford Galax, yes. With the two auction lots shown. So there you go. You can see we bought a ginormous vintage picture and um, more pictures than we thought. So to be yeah, honest with you, I was a pleased. little bit relieved mm. because we did spend in total with fees £26 for everything Ooh, that's shown in the kit. We must be able to make money out of that, I'm <laughs> surely. Now, 12 items we bought... Um, £26 we paid in total with all the fees and VAT and everything, which means we've equated it to £2.16 per item. That's how we do it here. We just split it. So we're going to come and sort of go through what we've bought mm. and show you. It's a, it's a day later now. I've had a chance to go through everything, do all the research, and um, we're going to go through it and show you. So let's start with these pair of candlesticks. These African wooden candlesticks, hun. Yeah. Now, I've measured them just to give you an idea because it is so difficult in a picture because when I bid for them, I thought they were bigger than this. Um, that's a top it, tip to remember there. Don't, um, no, you know. pictures can look deceiving, they can't can. they? <laughs> 23 centimetres high, these were. So they were quite tiny, weren't they? Mm. Um, but they are of, of a dark wood um, and... The way we sort of deal with it here is when I do the listing, if I don't know, then I will say dark wood or light wood because I, there's so many different types of wood. I don't want to mislead anyone. A lot of people say things like ebony, but I don't think it's dark enough for ebony. Um, and there's so many different woods in the world, you just don't know. No, so I would understand. say a dark wood. So we've listed these um, for 19.99. I say listed, I've drafted them. After this video, Paul is going to photograph everything and then they will be listed that's how quickly we have dealt with these two lots look at us go Woo! <laughs> so let's move on to the wooden statue now this is a man with um i'm going to say pipe but i don't think it is a pipe is it like a a bong i don't know i'm not into my um drug related yeah, paraphernalia I'm, so sorry no. i've got the, the right terminology Me there neither. um he is 20 centimeters high he's wooden we think he's wooden it's so difficult because mm. um Sometimes a good quality resin can look like wood, but we we sort of 98% yeah. sure that it is wooden. Um, again, dark wood, and we've put this up for 19.99 as well, based really on solds. You can never find um, exactly the same thing, but you can find similar. So that's what we've sort of gone for. Um, when we say 19.99, we always forget to mention. I say we, I forget to mention it. But all of the prices we quote include a free shipping. Or, or free postage, as, as we should say, in the UK. In the UK, yes. Um, so, yes, it will include that. And our offer button is always on anything over £10. So we may be pricing it at 19 99 but realistically, we're hoping to get to be between 14 and 16 ish That's what we'd be happy with. That's we? it, yeah. 
So now we're going to move on to pictures. It's one of the things we never ever buy. You won't even see us looking at pictures in an auction because we have no interest in them because a lot of them come with glass. And this is where we've been a bit blinkered in the past, haven't we? I know we have, and it, <clears throat> you know, it, I've not been a huge fan of shipping glass, but um, but you know, there are ways of doing it where you can make it quite secure. Mm. Um, so so yeah, we don't want to buy anything with too much hassle, if we're honest. Um, mm. But to be fair, <laughs> um, as my first sort of go at um, drafting pictures, it's been really quick, really easy, and um, I will definitely be looking in the future, hun. So we are going to take you through... I'm a bit worried now. I know. <laughs> you, you're always learning as a reseller. And um, I do like to learn. You, you've seen in previous videos me bidding on things like badges and tea cards. And what we ended up with is this. Not no. something we wanted. Something we sort of bought out of desperation. But we still get to learn. Yes. And what we've learned is that this per first picture is going to be... There was two by this artist. An artist called Jill Evans... It's, it's G-I-L-L, -L, which could be pronounced as Gill, but I think that's probably short for Gillian. So yeah. I'm going with it, hon. I'm going Gilbert with Gill. it. Yeah. Um, and a lovely picture called, um, this one was Terrier on Bed. Um, gorgeous. It's like a black and white um, sort of pencil drawing mm. with a lovely picture of a terrier. Um, now, you know, when you get these sort of things, you have no idea. So you start to um, have a look on eBay and see what you can find. And uh, we're going to be putting this um, one up for twenty two ninety nine. But this is why. Um, so I've got a picture here. This is um, of a different terrier on bed, um, and it, it went on auction for fifteen pounds plus five pound ninety six postage. Um, so it gives you a sort of an idea of what that particular author and style can author, author? artist. <laughs> <laughs> We're saying author for, two, for the last couple of days. I don't quite know why. Yeah. Artist um, can go for. So just to give you a rough idea as well, because I don't want to base it just on one um, print, because this is a, a print. It's a limited edition um, framed print. So the ones I'm showing you are also limited edition framed prints, just to give you an average and to be um, you know quite accurate, really. This is of a sheepdog, and you can sort of see how gorgeous this is. This one also went on auction for sixteen ninety nine with four ninety nine postage, and I will point out these are all second hand items, so it's not a bad sort of you know you're looking around about twenty pound mark. Yeah. Just to um, reiterate, this third one by Jill Evans is a Scotty dog, um, and this sold for on auction again twenty four ninety nine plus five pound thirty postage. So as we've already shown you, we've got Terrier on bed. Um, I think the next one we're going to show you, um, which we also got, was Terrier on Chair. And originally, I was going to put the two up together for twenty eight ninety nine. But when I started looking into it a little bit more, I thought, well, no. Um, the, you know, nice. the Scotty Dog and the Sheep Dog were aimed at twenty two ninety nine each, mm. with an offer button on, and um, were sort of hope to get eighteen to twenty ish per per picture. Yeah. So already, I'm I'm a little bit more relaxed. Um, because I was a little bit worried about showing um, showing these items because I didn't know whether we'd be able to get our money back, but already I'm starting to get a good feeling about it. Yeah. So now let's take you through the second of our new artists. This is Jill, no, not Jill, it's Jean. <laughs> it's Jean Scott Tong. Now I think that's how you say it, T-O-N-G-E. Um, now, four pictures we got here on this auction. Um, we've got Honeysuckle, we've got Tulips, um, I think there was Hollyhock and there was another one. I wonder what that one was. I've got it written down somewhere. Um, not here though. So what I decided to do was to do them in pairs. Now this author, this author again, hung, get something and hit me in the face with it. With pleasure. <laughs> this artist, um, although there are people selling her work online, there are no souls. Now that makes it a little bit difficult. Um, because, you know, what, what do you do? What do you price it for? Someone is trying to um, sell one and they've got it on auction at starting price of £12 with five sixty four post. But to be honest with you, that, that could be something they've just made up. So you sort of have a look. Um, I don't like picking a figure out of the air, but what I have done is have had a, a look at watercolour prints to see what, what sort of price secondhand frame ones go for. And they do sort of go for between 12 to 15 pound each. So what we have done with these is put them in pairs, 28 pound 99, and um, 
sort of see how we get on there. Um, I'm going to put a picture up of the one that is up for sale. This is a hydrangea. We don't have this one. Yeah, this is, but no, this, this is, is nice. This but is, this, this is one of the ones bad. that, um, and this is how, just showing you how we get the price. Um, because you, you sort of, when you price something, you want to be able to sell it. So you don't want to put a massively high price and then no one's ever interested. You want to sort of get the average price, don't you, hum? So now we're going to move on to the big boy. Now you see him sat here to my to my right. I had to look then, huh? To my right, <laughs> um, this artist. Now when when I must admit this shows um, my daftness. When we got this, I thought, oh my goodness me, look at this tat. But it turns out that vintage tat can be quite collectible. And this is David Shepherd, who I'm sure a lot of you already know. I'd never heard of. No, I we had no idea, did we? No. Um, this particular one is, um, it's a print, but it's print on board, and it's from 1965. Um, it's signed by the artist, and it was framed by Boots back in the day. And the price on it is, is not even in, in um, you know, what do they call it, normal currency, like pounds. It's not in pounds, it's before then. It's pre-decimal. Pre-decimal, right? that's the wording I was looking for, hon. I knew, <laughs> I knew you'd know it. Um, so, yes. When, when we first got this, my initial thoughts were, oh my God, how are we going to actually ship this massive thing? But when you start to look into it and you learn about the artist, it is interesting to see how much value is in some of his items. So I thought we would go through them and show you just because, you know, then you're not going to be as naive as me when you're going around an auction or a boot sale and you might have his name in your head and go, oh, actually, he, it's worth quite a bit. <coughs> oh, excuse me, hon, it's too much talking. So this is a different, this isn't our one, this is a different um, one that has sold. It's called Elephants, Elephants at Am, Ambosili, Ambosili, that's obviously a place. Um, from the 1960s, it sold for £40 plus £14.99 postage. <coughs> oh, hon, I'm starting to cough now. I do apologise, we have been ill for... What seems like many, many months. many months. Anyway, let's move on. I'm going to also show you the Boots label um, on the back of the one that's up for sale. Not our one, but it's it's almost identical, but just has the name of our sort of picture rather than this person's picture. And then the next picture will show you the signature in case you wanted to know what David Shepard's signature looked like. And you'll see that there's a number next to it, and that's the number of the year that it was made. So to give you another idea of a different one, this one is called Winter Plough. This sold for £50 plus £15 postage. Then we've got Wise Old Elephant, another one of the same sort of thing, a print on board. This went on auction for £39.99 with £14.95 postage. So it sort of shows, hun, that they, they do go for quite a good amount. We're going to put our one up for 64.99 which yes is higher than everyone else's but ours is in quite a good condition it's surprisingly um, in good condition i mean considering the age i think it's um it's not bad at all and we've got the offer button on and obviously yeah. um we've only paid two pounds 16 so we will be open to any sensible offers yes obviously we have to bear in mind it's, it, it's massive lot, it's take a lot more packaging and um, yeah. also it's a more expensive post um, we wouldn't be able to send it the normal way and um, yeah um, and the only thing really to point out when we do the listing for these sort of things is I always check on oversized things with Paul Paul has a, already had a look online to see what sort of postage it's just a, just bubbling over the £10 mark for yeah. posting it yeah but, just over that but we also put on our listing UK mainland only yes. because of the size because well, we don't just... want someone from Ireland buying it and it costing more than the picture well, um, that's that's the problem, unfortunately, is uh, when you start dealing with uh, carriers like um, Parcel Force, and, well, other carriers, um, their their prices tend to shoot up when you go into the Highlands, um, mm -hmm. Islands, and, and um, Highlands Northern, and Islands, Highlands and <laughs> Northern Ireland. Um, but you do have to be careful <laughs> because we do free postage, and we're happy to pay, you know, uh, just over ten pound, but we're not happy to pay thirty pound. So no. we do look into it, but we do make it clear on the listing that it is UK, UK man, man only because yes, we don't want someone getting it and um, and then us to lose out. We don't want that. No. So just to show you um, something that's not quite so massive by the same artist because he was um, very prolific. And um, this one is a uh, what I'd call a normal sort of glass framed um, picture. Yeah. Um, again, a print, I think, and it is um, it's called Tiger Cubs. It went on auction. This is second hand for £35 with £6.99 postage. 
I've got another one to show you, African Babies. This also went on auction for thirty six seventy eight um, and four pound postage. And but the reason I'm showing you these is that the different ones have different values, so it's definitely um, a name to sort of um, bear in mind if you're out and about. This one was is called SAS Action at Murbat with, and it had a certificate with it. This sold on auction for two hundred seventy three pounds and eighty five p. Um, with £15.45 postage, and this is this month this sold for. But just to let you know, uh, at the same named picture, a different number obviously, because they're a limited edition run, um, went for over £500 in December. So obviously in Q4, you're going to get a bit more money. But um, we sort of wanted to show you that, and that, that I would say we're going to put our one, which is a, a print on board, so it's not quite the same, but up for £64.99. Um, and now that just leaves two more to show you and the this is a bit of a difficult difficult one because these were um, sort of done by an artist who is not a famous artist so there is no um, putting it on eBay or, or googling it or anything like that to find out we've done all that we've tried, we've tried to decipher yeah. the signature it looks like it's a local person we live in Southampton not too far away from Titchfield and both of these two pictures are from Titchfield I think one of them is um, West Street and one of them is St Peter's Church. I've really got to remember now, hun, because yeah. <laughs> I did it yesterday. Um, so um, it's what do you do when you have something there of, of a lovely quality? The frames are lovely as well. Um, Paul was saying that our daughter's shown a bit of an interest, so we'll have a look at that. But for the purposes of the video, I've already looked online um, to see what sort of pictures framed prints can sell for and I'm sort of thinking of putting the two together for twenty four ninety yeah. nine. Mm. Um but it does obviously hinge on whether Emily's interested because does, um, yeah. <laughs> we might not be getting twenty four ninety nine. Might not be getting that <laughs> but for the purpose of the video and to sort of show what things that, are worth that is what we that's what we're be, aiming for. Yes, that's it, we need yeah. to get them listed quick before she yes, sees them again. That's it. So realistically we've bought twelve items there in those two lots. We've paid twenty six pounds. Hun can you see that if I tilt my book I think you should do the big reveal. The big reveal. So the total value. Listing value. Listing value. Yeah. It would be £233.92. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, a lot more happier now that, than um, than I was uh, 24 hours ago. So, um, it, yes. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a gamble, you know. But just but, so you know, £35 of that is, is going to be um, the postage cost. That's the only fixed um, yeah. fee that we know at the moment. Everything else will be up and down because only one or two of those might sell straight away and the others will sell on offer and so the fees will be all over the place. That's but it, realistically, we're, we feel that we've been very, very lucky. We have been very <laughs> lucky on those, yeah, definitely. You know, sometimes you have to take these gambles, don't you, and, and, and um, just go for them. Yes, and um, <coughs> it is interesting when you're at the auction. In total, we've spent about 13 hours before we bought the stuff home. Um, I did spend a, a good couple of hours going through them all. They've all been clean. They've all been drafted. Um, and now Paul's going to go and um, photograph them, then fully list them, put them away. So still a bit more time um, involved in actually doing them. Yes. But um, what it has sort of taught me is that um, don't be blinkered. Don't say I'm not going to get anything like this because it's got glass in try and open up my mind a little bit more and look at all things at the auction because you never know where the, where the money is and and we've never ever gone to an auction and looked at a picture and gone oh we've we've done, we could have passed loads of these um david shepherd pictures by not yes. realizing they had value yeah that's it. so it sort of um it sort of shows really that um you know Sometimes you can nobble yourself by not opening yourself up to new things and learning about new things. The thing is, if it's cheap enough, it's worth a gamble, isn't it? it yes, it, exactly, it, yeah. You know, you, you're paying a small amount for your education there, aren't you? That's you it, and I think if, if you've um, watched the previous video where we were actually at the auction, you might have um, been a bit surprised that we are slightly different to how we used to be. We used to buy everything and anything, and we would always start an auction with at least 30 lots in mind, we yeah. would always put the pre-bids pre on, on yeah. and that's how we, we did it. But this time we totally flipped it because firstly, we didn't want to win um, all of the <laughs> lots because we, we didn't, didn't want to spend hundreds of pounds. We didn't um, know what January was going to be like. Didn't we're, we, still, so. we're still going through the garage. We're still decorating and where we've been ill, we've not had a lot of chance to do that. So we feel massively behind. So the last thing we really wanted to do was buy vanfuls of tat that <laughs> would sit on our shelf. 
And also we, we have over the last few months changed how we do things. And um, we saw it in one of um, Mel Bat from Burnout's videos recently. She's doing a similar thing where you, you if you get it, you process it straight away. You don't you yes. don't put it in the garage. We we this is where our studio, it's our kitchen table. Um, it comes in, it stays here, we work on it that day or the next day. That's it does it. not go into the front half of the garage, which has always been our goods in area. Yeah. Because that's sometimes where the problem can be. So realistically we want to be buying what we can then work on straight away then we want to be out buying more we don't want to buy two months worth of stuff because that's where we've got ourselves into this sort of um, problem by having just so much stuff so we're trying to change the way we process stuff and how um, how we deal with it in a bid to be a bit happier about the whole situation that's it but I think yeah. I've covered it. I've really I gone to have. town and bored and rigid now, hun. <laughs> um, we just want to say thank you very much. We hope you enjoyed looking at the, the these two lots. I'm sorry there wasn't a lot of variety no, there. I mean, like I say, normally from auction we do get a fair bit, but um, not this time. But so. it is nice to know that everything will be gone. Ten minutes after yes. this video, we'll be carrying them out into the office and photographing yeah. them and having a nice cup of coffee. And we'll be patting <laughs> ourselves on the back that we yeah. process them quickly and they will hopefully, hopefully soon be leaving the building. That's it. So there we so, go. There you go. Another so. exciting video here from Emsden headquarters. <laughs> hopefully we'll do another auction soon. Um, I hope so. But, um, but yeah. It'll soon so. come round though, won't it? And it, it won't will. be too long before the boot sales come along. Not Ooh. just yet though, because it's, no, not it's yet. too blooming cold. It's too cold. Um, but no, we will be we will be doing some boot sale ones, won't we? Yes, looking forward to, to so. boot selling. Mm. So we just okay. uh, want to... Thank, Thank you, very you much. for all your support. Um, do give us a thumbs up. Yeah. And, um, you know, if you do like the video, of course. <laughs> but if you don't, just give it a thumbs up anyway. Yeah, go for it. Go uh, mad. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, do consider subscribing as well. And uh, then you'll um, be notified for our future videos. So, um, so yes, yeah, so thank you very much. Yeah, take care and see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, so start then. I'm starting. Okay. Okay, try not to stare at me though, because that's a little bit off <laughs> putting. Okay, I'm gonna go for it then. Ready? Yeah. Hi. Okay. Ready? <laughs> you said. Yeah, I know, but I said, it. Ready? Hi. I'm ready? Okay, hi. I wasn't ready. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? You tell me you're ready and then I'll go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hi. Hope everyone's well. Um, we thought we'd... Uh... Hi. <laughs> Come on. All right, you ready? I found myself looking at myself a few times. I hope my eye line's not going to be wonky. Nothing worse than a wonky eye line. This is lot 413. It's a Sony, an amp, and a, a turntable, and it's some... Sony turntable. Let's start again. <laughs> Jesus. It's a Sony. <laughs> oh, I'm halfway. I'm halfway. Um... <laughs> so, is it an amp? It's not a turntable, is it?